I'll put a million dollars on the line. Your WNBA championship team against a 2024 high school boys state champion team of my choice. You guys win. You get a million bucks of my money. My team wins. You all pay me a million and give it to all the boys high school team. You win. First of all, Clay Travis or a bozo. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I would. I would love to see. Number one, how many WNBA games you even watch? I would also like to see how many high school, college, state championship games you watch. I would like to see how much basketball you watch to even make a, a take like this, to be honest with you. It just sounds like you're trying to get off some misogyny. It just sounds like you're just trying to hate on the WNBA for no fucking reason. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't even talk about the WNBA like that. Because I'm just not informed. That's what I hate about politics too. People, people don't even believe the things that they're saying. They just have this one take that they feel like. And they're just scratching and clawing for things to confirm it. And then they come up with shit like this, dog. Like, yeah. So unserious. So unserious, bro. So unserious. It's not even that everyone feels like they need to have an opinion. That that too. But number one, uh, number two, I'm telling you right now, these motherfuckers do not believe half of the things that they're saying. These motherfuckers don't care about half of the things that they're saying. Everything to them is just confirmation bias. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, this is why such and such is such and such. See, this is why this is a problem. Like, geez, bro. Does bro even watch the... That's what I'm saying. Do you even watch the NBA? Matter of fact, let me let me go on your page. Outkick.com? What is this? This this looks like Sports Rumble. <laughs> Chat, this, this looks like Sports Rumble, dog. <laughs> oh, God. God. I gotta have that one minority in the banner. See? <laughs> nah, chat. This is a nasty banner right here. See, guys, we're for equality. All right, bro. You got one dude on there. Jeez. Your antidote to the mainstream sports media. These are the same people that would say, "Yo, just shut up and dribble," right? Yo, yo, keep politics out of my sports, right? These, these are these are the same. Hey, keep politics out of my sport, buddy. I'm just here to watch sports. Can we play basketball? But when you look at their account, they talk about politics more than every more more than anyone. Dead ass. Dead ass. They talk about politics more than anyone. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, it's a seven minute video. Hold on, chat. Hold on, hold on. It's a seven minute video. A seven minute vertical video? Chat, a seven-minute vertical video is crazy. <laughs> nah, bro. If you don't if you don't upload this on YouTube, what the fuck? So earlier this week, a clip of me from back in February uh, started to go viral. Somebody, uh, give him credit, uh, runs a basketball site, like found me saying what is indisputably true in my always humble opinion. A good boy's... You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. This dude does not know what words mean, chat. This dude does not know what words mean. Let's run that back. Reddit uh, runs a basketball site, like found me saying what is indisputably true in my always humble opinion. What is indisputably true in my humble opinion. That is what you call an oxymoron, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. A good boys high school state champion team would smoke in my opinion the wnba champion at this time i didn't even know who the wnba champion was i probably wouldn't have known who the wnba champion was anyway but it was in february uh and i was talking about how espn is doing everything they can to make it seem like people care about the wnba when the reality is after 25 years nobody cares about the wnba um, and so, and I said, look, one of the reasons is because uh, the, the women would get smoked by a good high school boys team. So that gets clipped, starts to go viral, um, and evidently one of the Las Vegas aces, I don't know who she is, I don't know what her background is, but her name is Chelsea Gray, 
she shared this clip from the Hoop Herald, and she called me a dumbass. Uh, and so I didn't even know that this had happened until I uh, saw it on a Google News alert uh, because I can't keep up with everything everybody says on a day-to-day basis. But Chelsea Gray called me a dumbass. She's on the Las Vegas Aces, which is the WNBA champion. So I responded, and to my knowledge, Chelsea Gray has not responded, nor <laughs> has the WNBA, nor has the Las Vegas Aces. But my challenge Why is they? clear. We're going to clip this, and we will put it out there. Here's what I tweeted. I'll put a million dollars on the line. Your WNBA champion team, that's the Las Vegas Aces, against a 2024 high school boys state champion team of my choice. You guys win. You get a million dollars of my money. That is a million dollars that I will put out there. I will give it directly to all the members of the Las Vegas Aces you potentially would make more money from this one game against the boys' high school team than you do for virtually the entire season playing in the WNBA. You claim that you're wildly underpaid a million dollars on the table of my money. But if you lose, you give me a million dollars. I then will not keep that money because I'm fortunate to have $100 million already. Oh, Instead, shit. Instead, I will give that money to the high school boys team that beat you, that I believe would beat you, as incentive to the boys team to go out and play. So all of those high school boys state champions would get, you know, nearly 100K each. That offer is out there. You called me a dumbass. You're a member of the WNBA championship team. I'm putting my money exactly where my mouth is. You can agree or disagree with me on all sorts of issues under the sun. I put my money where my mouth is. Sometimes it means I lose money. Hey, I will give him, (laughs) I'll give him this. Hey, he's standing on business. I ain't going to lie. I will will say that. He's standing on business. He's putting his money where his mouth is. He just needs a fucking buyer. I I, I will say that. I got to give credit when credit is due. He's standing 11 toes on business. Okay. Okay. Most of the time means I make money. That's why I'm a hundred millionaire. Used to not have much money. Now I'm rich. I can put a million dollars down on this game. Now, on top of that, let me take it to the next level. I think that this game would be the most watched game in the history of the WNBA. That is, more people would watch oh, wow. the high school oh, wow. boys team that I picked, the state champion team, would watch them play. Well, yeah, because at this point, you're fucking selling a fight. Like, <laughs> like I, I ain't going to lie. This is not even like just regular hoops. You're literally selling a fight. Damn near. Play against the WNBA team than has ever watched a WNBA game in the 25-year history of the WNBA. Money out there, attention out there. Next level, we will sell the video rights either on pay-per-view or to a broadcast partner. Oh, so he's literally... (laughs) Chad, he's literally selling a fight. Oh, my God. (laughs) What the fuck? And I think we would do tens of millions of dollars in additional revenue. The vast majority of those funds, I would donate to charity. Now, I'd have to keep some of them because we have to cover our costs. Ah. That's how much I am willing to do to make this happen. A million dollars on the line. I will bring a million dollars in cash into the arena, and I will stack it right on the side with some security. And as soon as that game is over, the winning team will get a million dollars in cash. Boom. You get the dollars right there. We're not doing the big oversized check. Literally, I will give you a million dollars of my money in cash. I want the million dollars of your money on the other sideline. And when my boy state champion teams kicks the crap out of the WNBA champion... I want the million dollars rolled right across to me 
And I will then hand the million to my boys. And then I'll keep the million that I already had. We'll probably raise tens of millions of dollars for charity. And my overall point will be made, which is boys shouldn't be competing in women's athletics because boys are bigger, stronger, and faster. Even high school boys. Than Whoa. What a, what, a, what a crazy twist. What a crazy twist. But, chat, this, this is exactly what the fuck I'm talking... This is exactly what I said earlier. A lot of these dudes, when they talk about these topics, they don't actually care about the topic. This is exactly actually what I was talking about. To the fucking T. They don't actually care about the thing that they're talking about. They don't actually want what's best for the WNBA. Hell, they don't even want what's best for these high school basketball players. They just want to prove a point. They just, they just want to prove a point. And grown women who are the best at playing their sport. Now, some people are like, oh, this is disrespectful. No, it's not. I could be wrong. If you think that I'm wrong... Put the million dollars out there. Show I see Azrudis in the chat. Azrudis is going crazy, by the way. But I do want to clarify. When I talk about the WNBA, it's not to prove a, a overarching point. It's not to prove why women are better than men or men are better than women. When I talk about the WNBA, I'm talking about the WNBA. Period, period point blank. I ain't going to lie. It's not going to be a conversation about, oh, see, this is what the WNBA needs. No. If I ever talk about the WNBA, it's going to be talking about the WNBA. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I owe it. I feel like, I feel like, not even on some I owe it shit, but I just feel like that's, shit like that is lame. Shit like that is lame. I've never seen you talk about them. Well, that's fine. You don't keep up with all my content. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You don't, you don't watch every single one of my streams. You probably haven't kept up with me for the last six years. Um, You haven't been in the spaces that I've been in where we've actually talked about it. You haven't, you weren't on Twitter last year when I was talking about college, women's college hoops. So it's cool, dog. If, if listen, listen, it's cool. You're, you're just as misinformed as me. Let me check YouTube NBA after NBA after NBA. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, okay. So now, so now the goalpost has been moved to a hey, B Souls never talks about the NBA to oh B Souls barely talks about the NBA. Let's keep moving the goalposts. Let's keep moving the goalposts. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep going. What's the next goalpost? What's the next goalpost? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we were talking about Caitlin Clark like two weeks ago. All right, let's, let's keep watching this, though. Show up, man up, woman up, prove I'm wrong, and then trash talk me. And then tell me that I'm an imbecile. Tell me that I'm a dumbass. Tell me that running my big mouth cost me a million dollars. I'm putting my money where the mouth is. WNBA won't say a word. The Las Vegas Aces won't say a word. I would have never even put this million dollars out there if one of your players hadn't called me a dumbass. My money is where my mouth is. Is yours? I don't think so. All I'm offering is the most watched WNBA game of all time and an opportunity to prove me wrong once and for all and take a million dollars of my own money. It's not coming from anybody else. You can go with me to the bank and watch me withdraw it and watch me load it up and drive it right to the arena. I'll be there smoking a big fat cigar after my boys whip your ass and get a million dollars. Where are you? Put your money where your mouth is, WNBA. Put your money where your mouth is, Las Vegas Aces. Your boy just did it. Will y'all? Ball, quite literally, is in your court. Make it happen. <laughs> that was corny. <laughs> no, that was corny. Now, as rude as you got to take a chill pill, dog. Jesus Christ. I promise you it ain't that serious, dog. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. Um, now, Clay Travis. Yeah, he's, he's one of these dudes that, again, from the sound of it, 
he don't he don't really care about the shit that he's talking about. Everything is is just to prove a point. Everything that you see in the media is see this that ah ah this this it's the problem with our society. All right, buddy, watch Spider Man like that ass, that ass because motherfuckers are trying to get that off, dog. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Spider Spider Man. Uh. Into the Spider-Verse is forced diversity. No, it's actually the least forced diversity I've ever seen. Um, and everything just comes off natural, dog. Enjoy the movie. Stop being miserable. Eat your popcorn. And I'm going to put it back to you. Shut up and fucking dribble. I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna... Fuck it. Fuck it. Shut up and watch the movie. <laughs>